It's been 10 days since the closed-loop management system for the Beijing Winter Olympics officially started operating to welcome all Olympic-related personnel from overseas, with many more visitors expected soon. This weekend, more than 200 Olympic participants on 12 flights will arrive in Beijing through the capital airport. According to the instructions issued by the Beijing Winter Olympics Organizing Committee, before traveling, Games-related personnel have to take two nucleic acid tests on two separate days within 96 hours of departure. They must be fully vaccinated at least 14 days before departure for China, and a green health code is also needed before boarding. After the plane arrives at the Capital International Airport, the Olympic participants are required to declare their health conditions to customs officials, have another nucleic acid test, complete immigration procedures and claim their baggage. They will then be transported to accommodation where they are required to wait until the test results come out. In terms of flight guarantee, at present 19 domestic and foreign airlines are in stable operation. Temporary flights will be in operation between Beijing, Hong Kong, Paris, Singapore and 18 other cities during the Games. During peak time, there will be at least 15 incoming and 13 outgoing flights on average per day. In addition, London, Bangkok and other cities can start temporary flights to and from Beijing according to the needs of Olympic-related personnel. At the moment, it seems that everyone is paying more attention to our flight arrangements and epidemic prevention and control measures. And we are fully prepared in these aspects. In coronavirus prevention and control, we will ask the passengers to comply with a series of measures like daily health inspections and getting vaccinated at least 14 days before departing for China. They are also required to wear N95 masks throughout the flight, and we have increased the efficiency of customs clearance to make their stay at the airport shorter, so that the risk of infection will be reduced.